What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the protest sports network. This is your boy Protech, and I'm back on another video. Back to talk with the God. <clears throat> for God, right now, God's going to do a quick for all your genie for him. And today's video, uh, we got a practice report from John Kaim. Uh, shout out to John Kaim, and also some roster moves, as you guys already kind of know. Sorry, I'm late to this video. I had a very busy day at work, so I didn't really get a chance to come home and get this video out to you guys. But this out better late than never. So, hope you guys do enjoy the video and my perspective on these moves. So, this is John Kahn's Twitter right here. Oh, this is Washington Commander's Twitter, uh, retweeted by writer John Kahn. And the roster moves have been as follows. Uh, we are putting Chase Young on the pup list, which is the physically unable to perform list, which means he'll be missing the first four weeks of the season, regardless of what happens now. He'll be missing the first four games of the season. And so will backup uh, Senator Tyler Larson. Also, we have released a tackle Rashad Hill. And also, long-term wide receiver Kelvin Harmon. Uh, and then finally, we placed Nathan Gary on the injured reserve list, ending his season immediately. So, I'm sorry, with Nathan Gary. I don't know what the heck happened to him. I'm guessing he'll probably get an injury settlement. Shout out to Louis T. I watched his video about this. I'm guessing he'll probably get injury settlement done, and he'll just probably play somewhere else. Or, you know, whenever he's fully healthy, ready to go, he'll play somewhere else. Shot Hill, no surprises. He wasn't making this team. I had a feeling he wasn't making this team. He got signed so late into the offseason going into camp. I just didn't think he was going to make this team to be 1,000% honest with you. So I'm not surprised that he's, that he's missing the football team and being cut here. Uh, I'm not surprised about Kelvin Harmon now. Uh, I'm a Kelvin Harmon stand. You guys know I love Kelvin Harmon. I am a big Kelvin Harmon fan. But unfortunately, that drop killed him, bro. I he had a really solid camp with the breeze, and he was kind of on the outside looking in to begin with. And he drops that pass in the preseason game number one. So he's, he's done. He's done. He's done. He's done. There's no way he's making this team. It's over. Unless he had a stellar, stellar week two performance, which he did not do. So he's a guy who's great depth that could be on the practice squad. I don't think anyone's going to be calling for Kelvin Harmon's name, and he'll be getting put in the practice squad. And he'll be ready to be called up if need be. I'm not worried about Kelvin Harmon not being on the practice squad after all 53 men rosters have been created. And he'll be just get stats from the practice squad. Uh, Chase Young, I'm not surprised about this move going to the pup list. He just hasn't really recovered from the ACL tear yet. So we'll just see how he looks week five <clears throat> versus the Titans if he'll play in that game. I will not be surprised if he missed that game as well. I will not be surprised if Chase Young misses half the year, uh, honestly speaking. Uh, this ACL has been tri tricky for him, and it is what it is. And hopefully, I hope he's studying some pass rushing moves so when he gets ready, ready to play, he has some pass rushing moves ready to go and an arsenal of moves ready to get quarterbacks. But as of right now, he won't be playing. I'm completely fine with that. He is your former number two pick in the 2020 NFL draft. You want to be very careful, guys, like these, especially in a big year like this, because if he does sour and does not play well, but he wasn't 100% healthy, the narrative would be really bad on him. So I do think that'd be good. It's good for him to not play right now and make sure he's fully healthy. And same with Tyler Larson. When he comes back, he'll be great depth. So that's good looks. It's good looks for those guys not playing right now and rushing them back. I just don't want to rush them right back. So, we're going to go ahead and get to a quick recap of practice today. Nice sunny day at Ashburn. It was a nice sunny 85, 86 degree day, honestly speaking. <clears throat> Andrew Norwell is back out there today, which is great. That's great news. Uh, for Darian Mathis, did walk into the medical tent during practice with a slight limp. Uh, another tweet when uh, someone asked about for Darian Mathis' uh, update, John Kahn did not have an update. I don't think it's nothing serious. I think he'll be fine. They're just being precautious, which is 1,000% fine with me, as you guys did see here with this one. So this is the tweet that he has on Fidarian Mathis. Nothing at this point, sorry. So he has, he has no updates yet on Fidarian Mathis. And nothing really happened today. Wes Schweitzer came out to practice as well, and that is pretty much about practice today. Nothing really was said. Uh, Ron Rivera didn't really say too much about uh, and during the press conference, he did bring up the tight end room how, and how the tight end room has kind of been a surprise through camp 
and guys like Amari Rogers and you know even Eli Wolf. He well, he didn't is not making a team. He's going to probably not play this year. He has some good snaps in the last preseason game versus the Chiefs. Uh, also, another guy who another um, position group that he's kind of keeping the look side of Louis T for this as well. I did watch his video for watching for, for, for making my own video about this. Shout out Louis T as well. But uh, I, I completely agree with him, by the way, because this these two positions are definitely question marks from the team, especially in the back end of the roster, and that is cornerback and safety. Uh, we don't know so with Steven Parker. Is he a corner? Is he a safety? Is he a hybrid? We don't freaking know. But he did not have the best showing that he had um, preseason week one. He fought it with a eh, subpar performance in week two of the preseason. But I do think, again, in this game, he should definitely be able to ball out and make this team. So I probably will have him in my 53-man roster projections when I do put on my 53-man projected roster. Uh, also, <clears throat> another guy, I mean, another, another guy on this uh, on this roster right now that I think is going to probably make it is Jeremy Reeves. I, I think he's definitely been solid throughout camp. Uh, they know they know what he's capable of, and they also know his strengths and weaknesses. And he had a really good back end of 2020 as well. So in coverage and outside that Curtis Samuel play, not a bad tackler either. So. Uh, yeah, I think Jeremy Reese is really good depth and someone that they want to keep, but that fifth safety spot is still definitely open and um, up for grabs because Percy Butler, uh, Percy Butler probably, and you have Jeremy Reeves, I think it's your fourth safety. I'm guessing behind Curl and McCain, uh, maybe that fifth safety spot might not be might, might not be open when I think about because Derek Force as well. So I do think Jeremy Reeves will make this team. So actually – I do think they might even keep 11 DBs and start think about it. Maybe might keep 11 DBs and Steven Parker and another guy like <clears throat> Dirk Force could be guys that on the back end of the roster that make it. So it's going to be very interesting to see what they do with the, with the secondary. Uh, outside of the starters, it looks very thin and not very good at all, uh, especially deep in coverage. It's been kind of bad, so. We'll just see. But, yeah, I'm glad to see Andrew Noah back at practice. Uh, Swice was back yesterday as well. And he practiced for the second straight day today, which is great news. So I'm just happy to see guys coming back. I do want to see Cole Turner come back eventually before the season starts. Um, also, a guy like John Bates come back to practice and full participation before the season starts so they can get some reps in and get their feet wet and get ready for week one versus Jacksonville. But that's going to do it for me, man. Uh, Kevin Harmon released, no surprise. Rashad Hill stinks. Uh, Nathan Gary's going to probably play for somewhere else. Also, I did not know this, uh, but I had to look it up after uh, a couple creators made a video about it. And I made a video about it, but he mentioned it. The Sammy's Reyes actually had an injury settlement as well, so he will be free to go elsewhere uh, because of the tight end depth on this roster. So I wish Sammy's number the best. I do I appreciate his time here and being a project, but the project is now over, and I'm kind of happy. So that's going to do it for me, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe to the Protest Sports Network if you haven't done so. Also, if you want to become a channel member, uh, shout out to my man, Uptown Dre. That is my first channel member on this channel. I very appreciate the channel membership on this channel. It means a ton, and I'm very, very grateful, and I'm very, very thankful. Thank you. Shout out to Dre, man. I appreciate you, Uptown Dre. Mad love, AM Hunter. Good looking out, bro. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoy the channel membership, please do so. That would be great. Uh, you guys can get mem members only live streams. Also, you guys will get other purchases, emojis, and things of that nature under your name when you do comment in live streams and on videos. Also, if you get the top of the top, the top of the tiers, you will be able to upload a video on my channel of your choice as long as it is approved by me. So that's why I'm the only YouTuber allowing me to upload videos on their channel. So, yeah, uh, be easy, like, comment, subscribe. Have a great one. And then you, know, you got to think about Kevin Harmon's release and also Chase Young getting put on the pop list. And what does it mean for Chase Young's season in the 2022 campaign? But until then, guys, be easy. Guys, be safe. Stay healthy. Stay blessed with God first. Do not catch this monkey pox. Do not catch that 19. And I'll catch you on the next video.